we decided to put a call out to see who would like to work with us. One of the areas that got in touch was Dundee. They really wanted to get going. They wanted to come together around recovery and it became really clear that we wanted to open it out very quickly. So we had a big launch event. And following from that, we used events, some small, some large, to bring a really diverse group of people together. And it just started to build and build and more and more people got involved. The key priorities were about recovery story sharing and peer support, so we started to run events about them. Um, and we've had peer support training and people are developing roles. It wasn't about deciding what the end product was or the end result was, but it was about working together and making sure that lived experience was central. And the hope was that that would shift the agenda and emphasise the role of people in their own recovery and others. It's actually a very powerful but brave thing to tell your story. It's not an easy thing and I was struck by... One of the, the big things that, that came out of the initial events was that people felt that they wanted to share their stories, they wanted to inspire others and they wanted to hear other people's stories. Um, and they felt that that would be something that would really influence policy and practice in the area. So we developed a 20-minute recovery stories film which has now been used quite extensively to promote discussions of recovery. Ask about what, was, what, uh, what recovery actually means to you. We've learned that we should not know the answers, but we should work with people for them to dis develop their own answers. And I think for me that's really important learning. I think we've also learned that we can be ambitious. It's possible to want to do something different. And I think we also found that the right people to have around the t table are the people who want to be there. When you're helping somebody else, you're helping. You're helping yourself. The best thing is the number of people with lived experience who've got involved, stayed involved, and now see themselves as central to promoting and supporting recovery in Dundee. The movement that they've created that services and decision makers are now looking to. And for me, that's been outstanding. first event really brought home that there was going to be interest in this. The atmosphere in the room was conducive um, to being able to say whatever you wanted. It's been fairly informal in terms of the events and the way they were structured, the conversation style cafe, and it's really allowed for everybody to get involved and share their views. And even if people weren't necessarily comfortable speaking those views, there was always a means in which that they could be recorded. But just being able just to write things down and just to, and to meet other people. For me, it was the networking side of things, speaking with other people who had similar mental health problems, sharing my story of recovery. Um, just really enjoyed the events. The, the outcome of one and what people had shared was really what determined the next event. There was almost a sense like they felt that this could lead to some real change and that their experiences were being listened to. And I've seen people who I knew there, social works, MOJ, MOJ, uh, MO, MHO, sorry. Uh, key workers, Council, Dundee City Council, and knowing them that they were there kind of gave me a bit of a confidence boost. The people who are supported within their, with their mental health challenges outweighed the numbers of professionals, which for the first time I think in my whole working life I had ever seen that. It's individuals that actually have to be in charge of their own recovery. I've seen the effect that it can have. I've seen the power of being able to work with someone in a way that puts you on the same level. We're all equal, you know, there's nobody that's really the expert at the end of the day. What I've learned from other people has just opened my eyes so much and I realise how important this is, this way of working. Reading something is one thing, but listening to what people say and the passion behind that make things more real. The peer-to-peer -peer course changed my life. Um, I've seen everybody's, everybody's different perspectives on it. Different people trying different things and uh, it might be a, bit, a variety of, of things that's going to work for them and, and help their recovery. I saw other people flourish as well that were on the group, you know, and they started to become more confident and wanted to help other people. I think um, what's worked really well for me is 
the coming together of organisations who've got an interest. The fact that it was co-facilitated by three different people, all with a range of backgrounds and experiences, really highlights the co-production and the partnership working that's come out of the Make and Recovery Rail initiative in Dundee. We've, we've grown a, a movement in a direction, so it wasn't like we were working on a project and a missed opportunity meant it was never going to happen. It just meant that all the time we were building up more evidence of why it should happen, how it could happen, and a groundswell of people who are interested in making it happen, particularly people with lived experience. I'm convinced also that I have in the premiere of the film at DCA and there's always the stigma of mental health that we talk about. Having that in a mainstream place with an almost red carpet feel uh, in, in the actual cinema uh, certainly helped. So this to me was like a dream. It was like this is exactly what we need. By hearing other people's stories it was pretty good to, to know that you're not alone. That was outstanding. It was so real. It was just fantastic and it blew me away. I think it's getting the message out there and telling people that yeah you can recover Okay, it may take a, a wee while, but I think the message of, of recovery um, is really important. What's kept me involved is seeing some of the people that we saw at that very first event, and I knew even before that first event, and where they're at now. And it's just that it can make such change for people. I'm just proud to be a part of what's going on, and I think everybody's doing an amazing job. <laughs> Prior to being involved in SRN, um, I was told that I probably wouldn't recover. Um, so I kind of took that on board and thought, well, this is it. I'm not going to recover. And then obviously being involved in making recovery real in Dundee, um, I found out that, that, yeah, you can actually recover. And being involved with, with the project has helped me in my recovery journey. One of the things that Will it has already achieved is to inspire people to think about recovery, um, to share their ideas about how recovery works for them, and also it will help people to think about the way they organise and deliver services and how recovery focused those are. One of the senior members of staff that I, I work with, um, she wasn't really a promoter of recovery, she wasn't really a promoter of peer support. She now sees the benefit of it and talks about it in a really positive manner. And some of um, the other nursing staff are, are starting to change the way that they, they speak about it. Um, I get referrals directly from consultants, um, which is really good. So, you know, they're starting to see the benefit of it as well. So there are changes happening. I'd just like to see more of it. <laughs> the health and social care partnership are very open to hearing people's stories and accepting their stories and doing something about their stories. So I think on that level, there's been a, a change for the better. So what's changed for me is a confidence in the way I did things rather than a shame. I've certainly seen a greater use of the the term peer supporters. When we started to look at peer recovery opportunities we did a little sort of straw poll of what there was in Dundee in terms of peer recovery opportunities. I think we clocked two page posts and maybe about 15 um, unpaid ones but already that's probably more than doubled. I'm going to be facilitating a peer-to-peer -peer course myself after being one doing one I'm going to be facilitating it which is exciting and I just I really think it's so worthwhile and it's just been fantastic. One of the significant um, turning points for me was when Making Recovery Real was recognised in the city plan and in the uh, mental health strategic emerging mental health strategic plan for Dundee and I felt like that was when um, key partners were really putting their money where their mouth was. It makes you want to feel good inside knowing that you're going to be doing stuff to help people. You know, if I'm needing a wee jolt, I do think about the inspiration of some of the others. Watching people thrive and, you know, um, being able to, you know, do their own thing now, becoming more independent, uh, and it's, it's gave, like, me lots of different opportunities and um, it's just been great. I think it's inspired me to think about how we do things differently within the service that I manage. 
Um, and we're really lucky to have some of the recent peer-to-peer -peer graduates on board, so I'm actually really excited about the future. It's reinforced my own beliefs that think that people can get better and they can have very rewarding lives and not everything should focus around their mental health. There's structure, there's purpose, there's alternatives and there's choice. And it's been great and terrific and it really boosts me and I feel... <laughs> it's a brave new world. Having Scottish Recovery Network as a key partner kind of made um, some of the people who <clears throat> had previously been a little bit suspicious or dubious more confident um, that this was a legitimate way to go forward. The first couple of meetings we had before we put the bid into the Scottish Recovery Network were some, a bit difficult because there was very much the them and us statutory, non-statutory and some people in the middle. I suppose it was a bit like bringing in a referee. <laughs> it made people, um, it gave people confidence to, to try the different things we wanted to do. I do think that without a focus from the Scottish Recovery Network, we wouldn't be sitting here. And it is something I feel very strongly about because although a lot of us that were involved at the very beginning all wanted or hoped things would change, I don't know if anybody would have had the time or the energy to make the impetus to make things happen. I think it's also the regard that yourself and DVA give to the value of everybody's opinion. And it's, it's totally egalitarian. You know, it's not just my voice now in the wilderness, it's my voice and your voice and Rob's voice and all the people that passed the peer-to-peer -peer course the first time, it's their voices as well. And I just think we need to shout and be heard. I think we are now so established and the name making recovery real in Dundee is established that it certainly won't go to sleep. It'll be good when we get the, the um, recovery film out into the community and people start to see it and um, hopefully communities will become involved and then they'll start to spread the word about recovery as possible and it does happen. And we'd like other people to try and join in if they'd like to tell their stories as well. Peer recovery has a, ma a whole load of different directions that could go, a whole, there's just a load of growth to be done there. We need to keep doing more of what we're doing, promotion of peer-to-peer -peer education, definitely. For me, I really, really hope that we have some paid peer worker roles and that this is kept high on the agenda. I'd like to see it being the case that, you know, the community centres start to have recovery groups, start to have rap groups, start to have art groups start to have um, opportunities for people to get together. I've got some hope now for people and for the, for the world that I didn't have before. It can only get bigger and better I think from now. I can see huge potential, huge potential. <laughs>